The Adventures of Addie, The Tale of the Prince and the Dragon by Addison Books. We join our heroes deep in the forest on a dangerous quest. Addie, we're outnumbered. Let's get out of here, said Gabby. No, not without the magic wand, said Addie. The trolls charged at them and a battle broke out. Addie and Gabby dodged and defended the attacks as they fought their way, the group of trolls. There's the leader, exclaimed Gabby, and he's got the wand. Watch out, Addie shouted as she saved Gabby from the wand's blast. Quick, get the wand, called out Addie as our heroes advanced up to the leader. We did it. Thanks, Gabby. Now I need to take this wand to the Oracle so she can complete her magic potion. That was intense. Good luck on your journey back. Maybe next time we can just play a nice quiet game of tic-tac-toe, chuckled Gabby. Armed with a magic wand and a belly full of chocolate milk, Addie was ready to embark on her journey back to the Oracle. On her way to the Oracle, Addie came across a boiling hot river of lava. She knew it was dangerous and had to find a safe way to cross. Try stepping on the stones, said a mysterious voice. The stones are the safest way to cross the lava. Seeing that she had no other choice, Addie hopped on the stones to safely get across the boiling hot lava. Once Addie got across, she found herself in an enchanted forest. She knew the oracle was close and had to get through to the other side. As Addie made her way through the forest, she heard the sound of clanging metal coming from a little workshop. She approached the workshop and saw a blacksmith hard at work fixing an old sword. Excuse me, sir. I'm on my way to see the Oracle, and I was wondering if you could repair my sword. It has seen a lot of action. The blacksmith took a long look at the knight standing before him. Hmm, you must be the brave knight that everyone is talking about. I have a dangerous quest for the bravest of heroes. If you accept, I'll give you a very special sword to help you on your journey. Addie thought about it for a minute and then asked, What do you need me to do? The blacksmith opened the chest and took out a stunning new sword. It had beautiful engravings and looked like nothing Addie had ever seen before. This sword is made from the rarest metal known to man. It is the only metal that can take on a dragon. Your quest is to defeat the dragon and save the little prince in the tallest tower of the castle. If you can do that, then the sword is yours. Addie, with sheer excitement in her voice, exclaimed, Deal! Graced with her new sword, Addie could feel its power and felt unbeatable. But she had never fought a dragon before and started to get worried. What if I fail? What if I'm not able to stop the dragon? There's a little prince up there who's counting on someone saving him. I got to stay strong. I can't let my fear stop me. I have to find a way into the castle. As Addie approached the castle, she saw that the drawbridge was closed and wondered how she'd get the wand to the oracle. Before she could figure out how to get into the castle, she saw four armored knights on horseback approaching. The drawbridge began to open. Hey, sis! The oracle was mixing ingredients into a large cauldron that was sitting on a fire. That group of trolls was tougher than I thought. Thank goodness Gabby was there to help. Here's the one you asked for, said Addie. Perfect timing. I needed to complete this potion I'm working on. Also, I can see you've been tasked with a quest to save the little prince at the top of the tower, said the oracle. How did you know? Asked Addie, surprised. Because I'm your, uh, I mean, I'm the great and powerful oracle. I know everything. Plus, I saw the sword in your hand, she said as she pointed and laughed. Go and save the little prince quickly and bring him here. He needs this potion and is almost ready. Addie made her way out of the room and looked at a long set of stairs covered in traps leading up to the tower. After what seemed like an hour, she got near the top of the tower. The screech of the dragon was so loud she couldn't hear herself think. The flapping of the dragon's wings made such a thunderous sound. The vibrations rumbled through the whole tower. Addie felt nervous. She knew this was it. The loud screeches and thunderous flaps sent chills down her back, but she knew what she had to do. 
She was going to save the little prince, and no dragon was going to get in her way. Addie burst through the door and saw him, the little prince, locked in a cage, looking for help. Don't worry, little prince. I'm here to save you. Then came a loud crash behind her. As Addie turned around, she was face to face with the scariest dragon she could ever imagine. It had tough red skin and an angry stare. She could smell the fire breath coming from his mouth as they looked into each other's eyes. Addie quickly rolled away and held a shield out in front of her as the dragon charged up for a fiery blast. As the dragon took a moment to catch his breath, Addie lunged forward and swung her sword. The dragon had never been struck like that before and immediately got scared. It took off to escape what surely would have been a losing fight. The dragon flew far away from the castle, never to be seen again. Addie ran back and freed the little prince. Don't worry, you're safe now. Addie carried little prince back to the oracle. Thank you, brave warrior, for saving our little prince from that scary dragon. I prepared this potion for you so you can get big and strong too. With the prince returned safely, we leave our brave hero until our next adventure. The end.